Welcome back to the .NET Way. This is episode 5 of our C Sharp interview series where we tackle real-world technical questions in a practical interview-style format. In the last episode, we covered object-oriented programming principles. In this episode, we'll go deeper into the building blocks of OOP, classes, objects, constructors, and static members. Let's get started with our candidate, Sanya. Sanya. Can you explain what a class is in c -sharp? Sure. A class is a blueprint for creating objects. It defines the data and behavior using fields, properties, methods, and events. What is an object in c -sharp? An object is an instance of a class. It represents a real-world entity and allows us to access the members defined in the class. How do you create an object from a class? You create an object using the new keyword. For example, person P is equal to new person. This creates an instance of the person class. What is a constructor in C Sharp? A constructor is a special method that runs automatically when an object is created. It initializes the object's state and has the same name as the class. What types of constructors are there in C Sharp? There are several types. Default constructor, parameterized constructor, static constructor, copy constructor, manually implemented. What is constructor overloading? Constructor overloading means defining multiple constructors with different parameter lists. It helps initialize objects in different ways. What is a static member? A static member belongs to the class itself rather than any object. It can be accessed using the class name. For example, mathseshpy or Console.WriteLine. What's the difference between static and instance members? Static members are shared across all objects and accessed using the class name. Instance members are unique to each object and accessed through the object itself. Now, what is a static constructor? A static constructor is used to initialize static data. It runs only once, automatically, before any static member is accessed. Can you give a real-world example using class, object, and constructor? Sure. Let's say we have a car class. It has properties like make and model. We can create an object like this. Car, my car, equals to new car, Toyota, Camry. The constructor initializes the values when the object is created. Excellent explanation, Sanya. That wraps up episode 5 of the C-Sharp interview series. Today, we covered core object-oriented elements, classes, objects, constructors, and static members, all of which are critical in real-world development. In episode 6, we'll explore properties, fields, and access modifiers in c -sharp. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the .NET Way for more technical content and career prep. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.